Hey there, I'm Dave Roberts with Motu. Today I'm going to show you how to set up and customize a hardware controller to work with BPM, the beat production machine. From selecting sounds on the fly, to controlling individual effects parameters, even to reconfiguring the user interface on screen, BPM and your favorite hardware controller give you a true hands-on beat making experience. Today I'm using the Akai MPD32 controller, which has a set of 16 pads, just like a classic drum machine. BPM has four pad banks, which allows you to have four different kits loaded and playing at one time. I've already configured the MPD32, so it triggers the pads in BPM. I've got four different kits loaded into the four pad banks. The four pad banks in BPM are hardwired to receive MIDI on channels 1, 2, 3, and 4. However, if I click the Route MIDI to Selected Banks button, BPM goes into Omni Receive mode and I can switch between the pad and instrument banks in BPM and trigger the currently visible bank. Right now I'm selecting the different banks with my mouse, but it would be much cooler if I could change between banks from my controller. Let's set that up. Go to the Remote Control window in BPM Preferences. These functions in BPM can be mapped to any external MIDI controller. I can choose the parameters I want to access, and I can choose how to control these parameters. If we scroll down, we see remote control selections for pad banks A, B, C, and D, as well as the two instrument banks. On my MPD32, I'll use controller buttons to control the BPM interface. By using the MIDI Learn function, I'll assign buttons on the MPD32 to select the four pad banks in BPM. Now that I've done that, watch how I can switch between the currently visible banks in BPM from the MPD32 controller. Once I've selected the bank I want to play, I can play those pads directly. Here's some sounds from pad bank A. Here's some sounds from pad bank B. The MPD32 has four sets of 16 trigger pads. You switch between the four sets with these bank buttons. Each of the pads in the four sets can send its own unique MIDI message. So that means the MPD32 pads can generate up to 64 different MIDI trigger messages. That's a lot of control. The first bank of pads on the MPD32 are set up to trigger the currently visible bank in BPM. I switch between the visible banks with the buttons I previously assigned. Notice how the pad I tap on the MPD32 is highlighted in BPM. That's because the MIDI select button is engaged. I'll tap the snare pad on the MPD and the snare pad is highlighted in BPM. I'll switch to pad bank D on the MPD32 and use these triggers for remote control functions. I've assigned the BPM browser up, down, left, and right functions to the top row of MPD pads. As I tap the pads on the MPD32, I scroll through the browser in BPM. Because the auto preview button is engaged, the sounds audition as I scroll. The sound I select is assigned to the currently highlighted BPM pad. If I want to assign a sound to a different pad in BPM, I switch back to pad bank A on the MPD32. I select the pad I want to edit by tapping on that pad. Then I go back to pad bank D on the MPD32 where I can continue to browse sounds for the selected pad. I can use the left and right controls to open and close browser folders so I can jump easily between sound categories. If I don't want to hear the sounds audition as I toggle through the browser, I can turn off the auto preview function. If the BPM browser is set to kits and patterns, making a remote selection changes everything. I get a new kit with new sounds and effects as well as a new pattern. I can also audition and select just kits, just patterns, or any other category in the browser. I've set these buttons on the MPD32 to toggle the editor view between sample editor, sequence editor, FX, and mixer. You can see the sequencer change as I audition different patterns. I'm going to put BPM into record and overdub a snare part to this loop. I can undo that part. I can quantize. I can adjust the groove feel. All of these parameters can be mapped out to any MIDI controller. Check this out. I've set up a filter on the effects master in BPM, and I've mapped a control on the MPD32 to the filter cutoff frequency. Pretty much every parameter in BPM can be mapped out for external MIDI control. You'll want to set up your favorite parameters to the buttons, knobs, and keys that you want to use on your MIDI controller.
Turn your favorite MIDI controller into an interactive beat making experience with BPM, the Beach Production Machine from Motu.